Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2021. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply the shatter effect. First, select the layer that you want to add the shatter effect to. Then come up to the effects and presets. If you don't see it, you're going to go up to Window, Effects and Presets. In the search bar, just type in shatter. Just drag the shatter effect right onto the layer. Go up to Effect Controls. Under View, click on the drop down menu and change it from Wireframe plus Forces to Rendered. If I drag the playhead, this is the default shatter effect currently. Next, we're going to twirl down Shape and change the pattern. It's currently set to Bricks, but in this example, we're going to select Glass. I'm going to twirl open Repetitions and just type in 30. Twirl down Force 1. Then click on the origin point icon. The crosshairs indicate where the origin point is or where the shatter effect is currently starting. You'll see if I drag the playhead, the shatter effect is currently starting from the center. But we want it to start on this left side. So we're just going to click on that icon and then just click anywhere where you want it to start. So in our case, we want it to start right here on this left edge. And now if I drag the playhead, you'll see the shatter effect now starts on that side. Next, we're going to change the radius. I'm going to drag this all the way to the beginning and click on the stopwatch for radius. That'll create a keyframe down here. I'm just going to drag the playhead out, let's say a second. Now I'm going to click on the number and I'm going to type in 2.5. We'll use the radius keyframes to tell After Effects where we want the shatter effect to start. So I'm just going to click on radius to highlight both keyframes and I'm just going to drag these out a little bit. I'll turn on the bike layer now so you can see. So the bike comes in from the left side. We want it so when the tire hits the logo, the shatter effect starts. And we can just move these keyframes for radius to get the timing exactly right. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And you'll notice when the tire hits the logo, the shatter starts up here. And we want it to come down here so it looks more realistic. So we're just going to click on that origin point and move it down and we'll just line it up with the tire. So now when the tire hits, boom, it looks more realistic. But one thing you'll notice is that the effect is contained within the transform box of the logo. You see it's like a perfect rectangle, so it doesn't look so realistic. So for that, we're going to add the grow bounds effect. So select the layer that you have the shatter effect on. Go up to the effects and presets. In the search box, you're just going to type in GROW for grow bounds. It's under utility and just drag it onto the layer. The grow bounds has to be above the shatter effect in order for it to work. So we're just going to click on the effect and drag it above, twirl down the pixels and you're just going to crank the slider. 100% is not enough. So I'm going to click in there. I'm going to type in 600. But now you'll see with the grow bounds effect, it's going to cover our entire composition and look pretty cool. Add some sound effects or other elements to your animation. And that is the shatter effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2021. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.